Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on loot bag automation. Uh, what I discovered with the loot bags uh, from Sky Factory 2, the, the mod is uh, loot bags, of course, is that if you have one, you can actually shift right click on a chest and it inputs its inventory into the chest. So what I've done is I've set up an autonomous activator to sneak while right clicking and then if I feed it bags, you will see that it will start to dump its entire inventory into here. So if you have a mob farm set up, set up some automation to get some uh, some of the loot bags over to an autonomous activator. Set up a chest or uh, an applied energistic system, something like that. And uh, you'll be able to automate this pretty well. You see that we're getting a ton of different stuff here. And if I actually uh, put in just uh, a crazy amount of loot bags, let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. And we'll just stick them all in here. Uh, we'll skip some of the, the legendary ones because they, they just give you a bunch of horse armor and whatnot, you know. But yeah, you'll see that this thing actually works really, really well. And especially if you have a, a bigger chest. Now, I did notice that, uh, you know, smaller chests fill up very, very quickly because of the amount of non-stackable items that you get but you see that we just have a ton and ton of different stuff. Now I want to show you guys kind of a practical application of how I have this set up in my world. So this is my Sky Factory world that I'm doing with Teal Lone Wolf. You'll see we got a mob farm here with a Killer Joe. And Killer Joe's killing all the mobs that fall from the mob spawner and then they go into this vacuum chest. This also uh, routes all the items to respective you know barrels or deep stores or wherever it needs to go or maybe just fills up a chest but what I have is actually an ender IO um, conduit item transfer and it goes into this blue 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 ender chest and if I shoot over to my ME system you'll see that I have that right there it goes into a hopper and then into an autonomous activator that goes into another ender chest this is just our random input uh, to the ME network and it's actually being pulled out by what you can see there is an ME import bus. So as we get bags, they are automatically inserted, put into our system, and you can see we shouldn't have a whole lot of bags in our system. We got like four, um, and that might have been just from random pickups and whatnot. But if you look, we have a quite a few staff of travelings. We've actually gotten rid of quite a few, but you see 999 Ender Lily seeds name tags, uh, just, you know, crazy amounts of mega saplings, rubber saplings, and I believe we even have some sacred saplings in here as well, the, uh, the enchanted ones. So yeah, we're getting quite a bit of snuff just off of this simple one level etho style mob farm that's, uh, you know, pretty easy to do. So if you guys have any questions about, uh, what you might want to see, uh, or, you know about this system please let me know in the comment section down below if you have something else you'd like to see me uh, automate in Sky Factory I'd be happy to show you so guys my name is Drax and I will see you in the next one